Uh, is it because... Okay, possibly because there's nowhere for it to grow? That's because I'm being thick. That's what. You don't plant melons. You plant melon seeds. One, two, three, four. Okay, so those melons will grow out there. Um, just want to put a little edge on this anyway. Hey, where'd you come from? There is zombies spawning somewhere. Oh, look. No, it can't be there. But there is a spot where a zombie could spawn there. So let's light that up. Better find out where those zombies are coming from. Not there. Hello, welcome back, Addy. Doesn't look like there's any zombie spawning points here, but it came down here somewhere. So perhaps it's up top. This is going to be a continuation of the river, by the way. And I'm also going to go and have a word with that zombie because he's not supposed to be in the estate. We must do something about this immediately, if not sooner. I'm not seeing where this zombie is spawning from, which is frustrating me to no end. Right, let's go down and say hello to him. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Look, you're stressing out the gullants. Go away. Right, gotcha. Okay. Been quite a few gullens out there now. Right, so that's a few seeds. There's nowhere it can spawn. Oh, and hello. Um, this is all half slabs. Okay, so there's nowhere it can spawn on the floor. And we should actually, because one of the mods, be seeing uh, red or yellow crosses where they can spawn. And I'm not seeing any anywhere. Uh, let's just test that to make a pl uh, have a look here. No. Okay. Well, I'll go and hunt for that later on. Let's not waste our time. Occasional zombie we can deal with regardless. Worst comes to worst, it punches us into the void and we have to start again. I've just seen we've got an extra reward bag. Let's uh, open that up. Ooh, lots of stained glass. That's an interesting reward. Oh, okay, and it's like the area up. Hate it when it does this. Right, that's good enough. Right, let's get that in there. Let's just dump some of this stuff off. And then I can start storing this. Those we'll use later on. But coloured glass, that's going to be fun. I'm trying to find uses for that, I'm sure. And... Got a bit of that. There, now it's working all right. Don't need that, 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 don't need that. Get all that stuff put away. And. Right, okay, that's that done. Now, don't worry about it, Frankie, so am I. Okay, 
And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but once again, a garland has invited themselves into my home. Isn't it nice of them? Right. I've got two things I want to do, and I'm going to give you guys the choice of one of them. We should really move on to the other Minecraft in the next half hour, three quarters an hour or so. Um, so I can either do some beekeeping stuff or I can make myself a chicken coop. What could you guys rather I did? While you're thinking about it, I'm going to get rid of some of this junk. Aerosmith the Gullen. Well, if I get a label, uh, name tag, I will most definitely do that. Right, it's two for bees, two for gullens. Come on, we're going to need a tiebreaker. There's enough of you here. Three for chickens, three for bees, four for bees. Morty sees is, uh, is. I think we're sort of shuffling towards bees here, aren't we? Right. Okay. Let's do bees. Mm. Okay. So I have no real idea how to do this, but let's let's muddle our way through it together, shall we? All right. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just do a few quests on this bees and trees thing, which is going to get us going. And we need to just do this one. We need to do a seed oil can, which is going to give us these forest hives and meadows hives and half a heart and things like that. So let's make a seed oil can. Just to check this quickly. Yeah, it's run out of water very, very quickly. So um, we're definitely going to have to come back to that one, I think. Okay, so. Seed oil. Okay, so that's a seed oil can, and you make him in a fluid transposer. And a fluid transposer. We make like this. Oh, we don't have enough. Um, we don't have enough machine uh, redstone to do this just yet, and I don't want to spend time sifting things. So what I think I might do is just go with what we've got, if I can find it, because we've got these bees here, and we can make an artificial hive. We had an artificial hive, but I'm not entirely certain where I put it. Let's just have a quick look up top here. Yeah, um, I want to make some proper farmyard stuff, and we can start farming them properly, but I uh, also want to be a bit uh, creative with it as well. Uh, not that. Um, there we go, an artificial hive. So, let's place the artificial hive down in the wooded area. Uh, actually, let's get a couple bees as well. So, we'll take a drone, and we'll take a cultivated princess. Let's just put this... Uh, beehive down um, they will float their way down to the bottom and others will replace them fairly quickly I should imagine okay so this is our tree so let's put the beehive there like that and can we... No? That doesn't work like that. Okay, so... Let's see what we can work out here. Right, I have no idea what I'm doing here, so I'm making it up as I'm going along, okay? So, please do bear with me. Hive. Hive. Water hive, rock hive, nether hive, marble hive, meadows hive, forest hive. Curious hive, an unusual hive, marshy hive, a wintry hive, tropical, modest, 
as noting artificial artificial. So that's what we made, and that's probably. It's landing you, slag. You should know that. All right. Um, what in what biome are we in? Forest. Let's make a forest. Let's see if we can make a forest hive. <laughs> okay. We need an al uh, alchemic chemistry set to make a forest hive. I think that's a bit beyond us at the moment. So, unless we can actually get this beehive working and I am open to suggestions right nothing over there. I'm just gonna leave that there okay right we're going to gardens I will go and read up about beekeeping and I will I'll actually do the beekeeping next week after having a quick look through how to do it and then uh, we can all relish our sheer geniusness on doing that but let's make let's make a chicken let's make uh, our, our our chicken somewhere to live right need a, another stack of uh, there we go right so everywhere i make i make a space underneath for it to fall on uh for me to fall on so i want to make a bit more space up here so we'll have a bit more road like that and so like there well there goes one not the brightest of things chickens are they and we shall actually make our chicken coop here I think Party, do you plan tonight, Gurley Simmers? Yes, let's try to make them all a home where they can live safely. And be happy and not plummet to their deaths on any given moment because these gullen mean a lot to me all right so we'll make a bit more road and then we'll make a place for the, the gullen to live when you do that we need to go back up here Sing the original Scooby Doo song. Well, that sounds absolutely terrifying. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We've got some work to do now. Right, uh, let's have one of them. I said let's have one of them. Thank you very much. Have some of that. Extend the road out a little bit. We, I do love doing that. Well, it sounds a bit. The, the cows don't like the idea so much. No. See. Put a light in the middle there. No, no. Right. And carry on the fence here. Yeah, it's kind of ironic them becoming pancakes on this day, isn't it? One, two, three. Five. Oh, down there. Five. 
See that yellow cross there? That means that something can spawn there at night. But before we go anywhere else, let's just put that there. And some earth down here. Nice place for the, the gullens to live. And let's go and get some stone so I'm going to finish the job off. You'd be utterly amazed at the amount of cobblestone that I've gone through. It's the reason why I want to make it all automatic, so I don't have to spend quite literally hours making this stuff. Let's have a cherry jelly sandwich. Apparently, just having your preferred flavour of jam is not enough to make a sandwich. You need peanut butter as well. Right, do I have no fences? Right, let's go make some fences. Do them here. Yeah. Start off and make a gate. And. I guess that's not going to be enough. Let's go get some more wood. Yeah, it's more like it. There. Oh, straws. Yeah, straws. <laughs> straws. Straws. You're going to love this, guys. Oh yes. No idea what you do with it. But Damien now has a straw. A straw. I prefer jam and cheese as well. I love jam and street cheese, but Damien now has a straw, guys. Yes. E Man. Side of this. Oh, I'm getting that torch back. There. Right, little fenced off area for the chickens. Let's get some safari balls, which is what I've been breeding the cows up for. Did I take some chickens already? Pig, sheep, cow. No, I didn't. So let's make some safari balls and put the chickens in them. And just get on with our lives, I think. I'll have a proper play with those micro blocks later on and see where I'm going wrong and doing silly things. So I actually want to make a little hen house out of them, which I thought was going to be a lot simpler than it actually was. No, okay, right, let's go and happen to some of those cows. We've bred them up enough now. We need some of their lovely, lovely leather. Come here, little cow. Right, so I ask for leather and I get steak. Excellent. That's a couple of leather. That's probably enough, but let's do one more. And that gave me no extra leather. Of course. There, yeah, that did. Excellent. Right. So. 
and like ourselves some pokey but sorry safari nets Pika. Right, so we'll make some single-use ones because they're quite easy to make. The only thing we need is slime. And that's actually quite easy to make. And the cows are going to help us again. Put some of this junk in here. I'll work out what I was doing wrong later on. And the cows are going to so help us by giving us some lovely, lovely milk. Oh, standing over the other guy, not going near you. You've got a sharp thing. Right, there we go. Cut the buckets of milk. And the milk. We. You can. Put into buckets of water like this. Starts turning into slime. Now I want to see an elephant fly. How are we doing food wise? I don't really need to eat another sandwich yet. I like these sandwiches, they're good. I like the burgers, they're even better. And now we got meat and the animals run fast on the roads as well. Yes they do, and quite comically so as well. Come on, let's get some slime out of you guys. 90, come on, 90. Yay! And the, the, the great thing is, if you actually leave this stuff in here, as I found out to my uh, um, worry, they will actually turn into a slime and attack you. That was fun. Right, I'll actually get some string as well. And see, this is why I have a mob drop, okay? If I want uh, items, I just go and get them. Look, this has gained a li over three stacks of gunpowder just while we've been talking here, so over the last hour. Right, okay, so. Like that. And some leather. And some slime balls. Oh, we did have some extra slime balls. You were right, guys. That gives us four of them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and capture four of the chickens and hopefully release them in their new home. Bam. Right, okay. So here, yeah, chicky, 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 chicky. Have they all escaped? They've all escaped. <laughs> yeah, big drop there. Right, all the chickens have escaped. I can hear you. Captured! Right, let's get another one. I need at least a breeding pair. Are there any more floating around, or have they all decided to end it? What do you call a chicken with a piece of lettuce in its eyes? Go on. Uh, I find it kind of ironic that I'm hunting chicken here and I'm peckish. Definitely another one of them floating around somewhere. <laughs> Hello. That's our food doing. Look at this. Let this. 
And that, guys, is why I don't want these things floating around places. <laughs> right, okay, I'll fix that later on. Right. Ah, right, okay, that's why there was a chicken there, because I've accidentally used them. Right, let's use them in here. And use that one in there. All right, there's two chicken in there now, and let's give them some seeds. Let's make a third one. And there's a baby chicken. Right, so where we have a starting of our gullen colony. Right, and. Any more that turn up, I'll put in there for their own safety. And all I need to do is make some fields for the sheep, the pigs, and the um, the cows here. Get those all set up, which I'll do later on. I want to have a look at, look at this. Not doing anything. Okay. Mm, bothers me that I can't work out how these bees work. But I will get back to that. Right, so there you go. It was a bit chaotic, this one. Uh, but the important things here are we have chickens. We have ways of moving them about. And we got a load of quests done. And I, okay, Rory Sims, I will have those bees worked out by next time, okay? But, yeah. We have a clucking good home for them. If you're a fan of the Power Rangers, which series did you like the most? Um, I actually really, really like the original one. Uh, but... Uh, was it Ninja Storm? I think it was Ninja Storm was the one I liked as well. Hello guys, have a sandwich. So there we go, we're, we're shuffling towards getting this uh, done. I'm going to open this up a little bit before Saturday. We'll play a bit of this on the live stream and I hopefully I'll have the bees worked out by then, but if not, we'll do it next week. Uh, we're getting closer to actually having an organised world and I do like these roads. I'll be honest with you. Just check quickly to make sure... Yeah, nothing can spawn here. Alright, so, um, what I'm going to do now, guys, is... Um, I'm going to pause the game for another five minutes. I'm going to make myself a fresh drink. And then I'm going to go... We're going to start off on Iris. And there's some really big changes that uh, have been taking place with the new people on there. Um... Yeah, Melody Flower has been building a lot of stuff. Dragon Wolf Tamer has been building some stuff. Uh, Shizzy is working really hard as well. And there's a load of new stuff coming up. So I want to show you that. And then I've got a um, very big change that uh, I want to show you guys. So I'll see you all in a few minutes, okay? <laughs> 